Hello and welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Curry Brad and this is my playthrough of Octopath Traveler 2. Okay, so uh, a little bit of disclaimer. Uh, Octopath Traveler 1 has a special place in my heart because it's the first Nintendo Switch game that I bought when I purchased the console and I really, really love that game. So I'm pretty excited to play the Octopath Traveler 2 and I hope you guys are as well because you are in for a treat. Okay, like the first game, uh, there's basically eight character that you can choose to start the adventure with. You can then uh, travel around the city to uh, basically like recruit uh, all the other characters. So uh, a little bit uh, Octopath trivia for you. Like the first game, the names of these characters, the first letter of each of their names, actually spell Octopath. So, but unlike the first game, yeah, so in the first game, they literally distribute the character in a clockwise order, and it literally spell Octopath, but not in this game, I think, because Oswald is, this guy's Oswald O, but the one nearest to him are Tamenos, which is P. Let's see if it's the counterclockwise. No, it's Acnea. So it's a little bit more uh, random this time around. But as a big fan of this series, we're gonna do as best as we can to uh, do it in order of the Octopath. So we're gonna spell Octopath in this playthrough, even though that means I'll have to travel a long time. Now, because it's random, you gotta ask, right? There's two O in Octopath, so we have Oswald, and we have Oshet. But another disclaimer, so I actually already recorded uh, one episode of this, but uh, I was having a audio problem. Uh, if you were watching uh, Fire Emblem Gage, which is my uh, previous uh, playthrough before this, there's a point in time where my audio side of me uh, messed up. So I decided, you know what, let's just finish Fire Emblem Engage first, then I will uh, continue Oswald. Well, not continue, redo uh, Octopath Traveler from the start. And in that episode, I did pick Oswald. Uh, just because between the two, I prefer Scholar, and in my first time playing uh, Octopath Traveler, uh, I did play that game several times. So in my really, really first time playing it, I did pick Cyrus, which is the Scholar at the time. So yeah, we're gonna pick uh, Oswald. Okay, the Scholar Oswald. Your name is Oswald V. Van Steen and you are a scholar. Your tale begins in the snow-swept reaches of the Winterlands. You have been sentenced to life in prison for murdering your wife and daughter and have since spent 18, 1,879 days locked within a frigid cell. Harvey, the man who took everything from me, shall die by my hand, I swear it. Not even the bitter cold can extinguish the raging fire in your breast, and so you set out to exact your revenge. Had action day scrutinized, which is uh, exactly like Cyrus, obtained information from townspeople, and like the previous game as well, the scholar's talent is to study, though so gain insight into a foe's weak points at the start of battle. But in the second game, there is a second path action at night. Ooh, ooh, look at how the music changes. Oh wow. Okay, so at night, your pack action becomes to mug, obtain items from townspeople. That's kind of like uh, the uh, warrior and the hunter. But anyway, let's go. Oh, Oswald is being held prisoner. He still will continue uninterrupted until the end of chapter two. Proceed anyway. Oh, 
Yeah, so this is kind of different. Usually you do one chapter and then you are free to go wherever you want to go. But yeah. Oh, also, also, when you're deciding uh, which character to play, I don't know if it's still the same, but in the first game, whoever you choose first will always be in your party. You cannot switch him out with the other seven until you finish chapter four, which is the last chapter. Uh, the character then you can switch him out so something to think about I think I don't know if it's uh, still gonna be like that though but yeah okay so my breast shall never be it kind of makes sense we are in prison why would the other seven character have a source go to prison nothing begets nothing follow the chain of cause and effect and it will lead you to the answer you seek. For the record, you, Oswald, plead not guilty. Is that correct? That is correct. The facts are thus. Upon extinguishing the fire, the bodies of your wife and daughter were found in the rubble. They were nearly charred beyond recognition. A gruesome sight. I'm sure you agree. Thus the court accepts, without objection, immolation as the cause of death. But I didn't start the fire. However, there is one last inexplicable detail. Nothing one could reasonably consider the cause of the conflagration was found at the scene. Ergo, the fire ought not to have happened at all. Absent the use of magic, that is. God dang it. <laughs> You're gonna blame me for that? You were a scholar of magic, weren't you, Oswald? Is that a mere coincidence? Hmm, I think not. Having conducted a thorough investigation of the scene, the court holds the following to be true. You, Oswald, were the only one capable of starting such a fire that night. In the sacred name of Alifan the Scholar King, the court hands down the following verdict. Oswald v. Van Stein. Alifan is the... Patron God of the Scholars. We find you guilty I'm of the sure. murder Scholar of King, your right? wife and daughter, for which you are sentenced to life imprisonment on Frigid Isle. Oh, I just realized he you might be last already wearing the muzzle. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. Oh no, it's a hair. <laughs> it's a hairpin. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. I swear it. Okay, this is pretty interesting because in the first game, it was Primrose the Dancer who has sort of like a darker uh, chapter than the rest of the character. It's nice that the scholar now has the a uh, darker route. Frigid Isle, a solitary island in the far northern reaches of the sea. Oops, sorry. Blanketed in snow all through the year. <sighs> the nearest continent is due east. Four days' journey by sea. Even on the largest vessel. Even then. The fierce blizzards at sea can make a wreck of the mighty ships. Trips to and from this accursed place are heavily regulated. Okay, they should give me auto advance feature. Is there? Is there that option? This place holds all mainlanders found guilty of the most heinous crimes. It held over 300 of us at its peak. In its 80-year history, none have escaped. Love me some jailbreak episode. 
The deplorable treatment of the prisoners ensures that lives end before sentences do. I have survived for 1,879 days, but neither the unforgiving climate nor the ravages of time. Oops, sorry, shall extinguish the fire in my breath. Another frigid day in hell, eh, Professor? Hmm. <laughs> you know what this is? It's your little notebook. It never leaves your hands, does it? <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. I'm only borrowing it. Dude. You, were you shouldn't the touch scholar, what isn't you? yours. Yes, this notebook could be worth quite a lot. I'm sure it'd fetch me a tidy pile of cigarettes. You're welcome to take it back, of course. But you'll have to fight me for it. <sighs> and here we are introduced with the Oswald's Night Path action, which is to mug. Uh, hold... A circle while moving to dash. Okay. Pad action, main menu. Yep. Uh, at night, Oswald can mock townspeople for their belongings. Uh, that's what prison will do to you. Oswald's notebook. Uh, breaking enemies. Yeah, I, I, uh, I know this. We know this from playing the first game. Okay, so while in prison, Oswald are wearing a sort of like a muzzle, which is why he cannot cast any spells while muzzle. See, you cannot use spells while muzzle. So we can only attack with the broad. Not the best, but luckily, this guy are weak against it. Boost mode. Okay. Hmm. It has BP because this is the same studio that made uh, Break the Vault, uh, Triangle Strategy, things like that. So yeah, boost point, break points, one and the same. <laughs> and Bob's your uncle. Take it back. I've got no use for your filthy scribblings anyhow. Help! Guards! He's gonna kill me! You started it, dude. What the hell? I think this is planned as well. Help! Somebody! What's all this about? It's him. He attacked me. Excuse me? You attacked me? You all, you provoked me, more like. Well, if it isn't Oswald, our magical murderous scholar. <laughs> How do you like the new toy I gave you? Professor, <laughs> it's a fine little muzzle, isn't it? Keeps you from speaking those spells you love so much. You're the only one who has the honor of wearing it, I'll have you know. You should be kissing my feet. <laughs> this dude is obviously the first boss. <sighs> No defiance when I see it, and I'll have none of it. I'd love to hear what you sound like. I really would. When you're begging for your life, that is. Ah! <laughs> 
What is this dude problem? 13 seconds. 13 seconds from the time a prisoner calls for help to the guard's response. At least some valuable information's come of all this. One warden and 34 guards for 292 prisoners. Over time, I've learned much about the way the prison and the people within it work. And all of that knowledge shall inform my eventual escape. An escape for which the plan is written in this notebook. Using a cipher, naturally. Oh, smart. I've revised said plan numerous times these last five years. And polished it to a fine sheen. Only three pieces of the puzzle remain. The first, an escape route. For this, I have chosen a passage that leads beneath the prison. This passage is overlooked even by the guards themselves, and it leads directly out of this place. I must conduct a more thorough review of it, and soon. The second, suitable clothing. Once I escape, I'll be exposed to the elements. The cold will claim me in minutes if I'm clad in nothing but these rags. The third and final, an accomplice. To escape on my own would be to rely on my own assumptions. I require the help of another with intimate knowledge of the prison's inner workings. With these three pieces in place, my plan shall move that much closer to completion. At which point, only its execution shall remain. The next morning. Wake up, human filth! To work with you! <sighs> Slavery, of course. I understand this island was once dotted with mines. Entire mountains were reduced to rubble for ore. And the prison was built atop the wreckage. To this day, there remains phosphor buried in the frigid of Earth. It's immensely flammable, and sells for a fair bit of coin. So the prisoners are forced to mine it, and the guards line their pockets with the proceeds. Mine scum! Keep those hands moving! I said, keep moving! Unless you'd rather freeze to death! What's wrong with you? I can't move anymore. Too cold. Don't you go soft on me, criminal filth. Need I remind you that you were sent here to atone for your misdeeds? So beg whatever God you serve for forgiveness and dig, you useless little mole. Your life is worthless compared to the precious phosphor you cleave from the earth. He's and dead, dude. We'd we burn you instead if you were anywhere near as easy to set alight. Do you understand? Answer me! Warden, sir, is already dead.
and unfortunately come in sight. We are adaptable creatures. Any environment, no matter how horrific, can be made ordinary. Forced labor is followed by a vanishingly small window of free time. It is in this free time that I review the remaining pieces of my plan. They are three. The first, an escape route. The prison is as old as it is massive. There are bound to be gaps and awkward seams. Perhaps I can glean a hint or two from someone with intimate knowledge of the island's history. The second, suitable clothing. One they call the Provisioner sells the clothing I'll need to survive. But first, I need to find them. I'll start by asking any prisoners who might know this Provisioner. The third and final piece, an accomplice. My accomplice cannot be an ordinary prisoner. Makes sense. I must find someone capable of enacting my escape plan. Of course. Then all that will remain is the plan's execution. The radar. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. As you can save. As you can see, you have two save files. Let's remove this one. I'd rather be out here in the cold than locked up in that cell. They say home is where you make it. But who the hell could make this place a home? Can I talk to you? No. What's the button to run again? Hm, to filthy murderers like you even have parts. I'll have you know I do have parts. There are not so many guards watching the cafeteria during this shaft. Now is my chance to find an accomplice. During the day, Oswald can scrutinize to glean new knowledge from townspeople. Try pressing square near a town person. I like watching people enjoy their food. Uh, prisoner age 35, uh, crime, ma mass poisoning, sentence 156 years. If you have business with me, you must schedule an appointment through my butler first. What the heck? <laughs> prisoner to prisoner, what say we help each other out? What do you want? Okay, let's scrutinize you first. Uh, age 34, uh, a prisoner who was once an aristocrat, he seems cultured and intellectual, but is prone to leaps in subject as well as sudden bouts of shouting and unruliness. No, I cannot tie my fortunes to this prison. Oh, I see. Okay, so it is predetermined who would be our accomplice. <laughs> Flippin. A foot licker who reports misconduct to the prison guards the second he witnesses it, which has made him most unwelcome among the other prisoners. No, this one won't do. Okay, my first place where I accidentally go with he, him first, and that uh, trigger the next cutscene. Hmm. Thirty years, Emerald, a well-known figure around the prison. He's exceedingly wary demeanor, bellies, and a sense of determination unlike any other. Uh, excuse me. Hmm. 
You there. A word. What are you playing at? Skulking around and sizing up all the prisoners. <coughs> ah, right. You can't speak on account of the muzzle. That's right. I've been watching you. You know, for the last five years. And? And all that time you've been feigning indifference while you surveilled the place, right? You can say that. The other prisoners, the guards, everyone and everything. Watching for minor differences. Like you're making some sort of audit. What if I am? Only two types of prisoners watch silently for five years. Hungry beasts and people plotting an escape. And that's it. Which one am I? <clears throat> if it's the former, I know someone who can help. But if it's the latter... So, which one are you, Professor? Oh, okay. Shake your head if you're the former. Or not if you're the latter. Oh, oh, which one are you? The latter. <laughs> so, my eyes didn't deceive me after all. You're quite clever, I'll say that. Now, for my formal request. I went in on your plan. I can be of use to you. You'll see. I got lots of valuable information I'll only share with a close confidant. I've collected it over my long years in this place. That's why they call me Emerald the Informant. I know my information is good. <laughs> you could do far worse. Professor Jailbreak? Only someone of considerable wit could have figured out my plot from your observance. Further, he is correct that I have need of his wares. I can certainly use them for my advantage. That's pretty good. I knew you'd see it my way. So, what would you have me do? Hmm. This horrid island is four days' journey from the nearest shore. Even if our escape proves successful, we'll need a ship capable of making the journey to the mainland. I have set my sights on the vessel carrying the inspectors, who visit the prison on an erratic schedule. Thus, I need to know when it is due to arrive next. The ledger containing that information is fiercely guarded. I stand no chance of laying eyes on it. But all I need to know is the date. For that will be the date we make our escape. One more thing. Get me the key to this muzzle. Can't make any promises there, seeing as it was made just for you. <laughs> Let's just pray luck is on our side, eh, confidant? Ooh, very Persona 5. Call calling me confidant? The plan is in motion. I just need to let the informant do his work. Okay, so we basically gonna move on to the next day Oswald. each time we done one uh the objective. Oswald. Oswald. Have you found the answer?
to work, maggots. Move. Where's the other prisoner? Is he dead? Is he the one that's dead from the mine? Oh gosh. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. So you're the muzzled scholar I've heard so Bail. much about. You look like you need something. Same as everyone else who comes to see me. Hmm. Are you gonna bail me out of my problems? <laughs> the name's Bail. Most call me the Provisioner. They should call you the bailer. <laughs> I can secure most anything people ask for. <laughs> Not for money, given our circumstances. But everyone has something of value on them, if you know what I mean. Money? Cigarettes? Secrets? So, he won't hand it over for free. Though, if I can find his weakness... I'd better scrutinize some of the other prisoners. But I better scrutinize him first. Uh, known to many as the provisioner, he's capable of acquiring most anything else of him, albeit a rather onerous one. So yeah, because this is basically daylight, uh, we can only do scrutinize. Not the mug. Get this library. If I ever make it out of here, I want to open my own bookstore. A relatively mild mannered prisoner compared to the others, he was unable to read upon incarceration but learned to do so under the library guard's tutelage. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. How about you? How long's your sentence? I got 27 years to go. Warden Davids dropped his coin purse the other day, and this prisoner watched as Bale pick it up. He doesn't dare tell Sol, though as Bale knows his weakness. Here it is. Surely this is the provisioner's weakness. Let's see how he responds. Wait, what about you? I want to know. Finally come to pay, have you? Hmm. Uh, what's that scrap of paper in your hand? What? In the... Where did you get this? What? Whatever you want, it's yours. Just swear you won't speak a word of this to anyone. Give me two warm clothes. Oh, only one. What about Emerald? Hmm. My plan proceeds apace. This clothing ought to keep me from freezing to death. But what about Emerald? Back to your cells, you animals! That will have to wait. Back to the hole for now. Oh, okay, so the middle one is the jail. We don't need to go there. And another Oswald. cryptic dream. Have you found the answer? Oh, no. There it is. Though I have a feeling. Our V dent. Behold this small flame. Nothing exceptional. Yet if I apply the equation I have here, its intensity is compounded. And in Whoa. Theory, its power is multiplied. However, as long as it remains aflame, its power is limited. Using equations to amplify magic powers? This is incredible. You're a genius, Oswald. And because of that, you screw me over, Harvey? The one true magic. You're one step closer to it. To standing alone atop the summit of magic scholarship. 
Though, I must warn you not to grow too fond of the idea, for I will surpass you. <coughs> Time to work, you worthless sacks of meat! Up and out! Last but not least, the escape route. Yeah, I was, I was thinking here long before you, see? Reckon I know more about this prison than the guards themselves. This one might know something useful. Perhaps I ought to put him under some scrutiny. Okay, we're doing him last. Because I want to look for more chests. Okay, I'm ready, guy. A prisoner serving an extremely long sentence who worked on the construction of the underground passage. The hard labor ruined his legs, however, leaving him confined to his cell, doing far simpler labor. The underground passage? I don't just know it, I helped build it. But don't go asking me details. Best I can say, is there ought to be a labor report for it on file in the library. Okay, to the library we go. The library. Actually, a library is this one. This must be the labor report that prisoner spoke of. Whoever wrote it spared no detail in recording the construction of the passage. And they were a prisoner as well. Must be why no one gave it so much as a second glance. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. There's an entry to the passage right by the guard station. All is proceeding as planned. I've studied the tunnel's construction, and I am certain it is suitable for my escape. Back to yourselves! Now! Seems I'm out of time. Back to the hole, then. We are ready to escape. Oswald. Have you found the answer? <sighs> I've reached a dead end. There's just one last piece missing. I've explored every possible avenue, but it's nowhere to be found. What could possibly be powerful enough to serve as the source of the one true magic? You've done enough, Oswald. Well done, truly. Truly. Now, allow me, the great Harvey, to provide the final piece for you. He had planned it from the start, that son of a bitch. <laughs> Harvey. Confidant. It took a while, but the goods came in. <sighs> oh no, don't raise suspicion. What's this? I don't recall giving you permission to speak to one another. Ah, uh, you misunderstand, Warden. This isn't what it... Oh. Oh. It's your lucky day, scum. Speak another word, and I will bury you in the very pit in which you toil. Do I make myself clear? <clears throat> At 
least that's the last I'll ever feel of that club, right? I'll see you at the storehouse behind the mess hall. Meet with Emerald. Ooh, where is this? Good to see you, Confidant. It sure wasn't easy, but I nicked it. The inspection ledger. Better still, the inspectors are due to arrive tomorrow. <gasps> All we need to do is follow your plan to the letter. We're nearly free. I can't believe they made it. Aye, the gods are in a foul mood yet again. Sure to be another horrible day in hell. Oh no. The inspectors should be arriving soon. Prison patrols will be short-handed while they ready a welcome party for the ship. That leaves a small window in which to begin executing our plan. It's time. It's time to escape. First, we need to make our way to the underground passage. Emerald joined the party. So we can actually mock them. But not now. I'd rather sleep out here than in that cell. Of all the places in this hellhole, I probably hate this mess hall the least. If I got to choose my last meal, I'll make it a big hot pot. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Saving your progress. Oh, can I mock you? I can, but it's probably strong, huh? But I would say there's something you have to do first before you start mugging people. And that is to trigger this cutscene, because this will allow us to do spells, finally. The entrance to the underground passage should be just about here. Excellent work, Confidant. Onward. But first, I have a little something for you. The key to that muzzle of yours. <laughs> I'm locked up now, sure. But I was quite the thief outside these walls. Hmm. Thank you. Now I finally get to hear your voice. <clears throat> huh? <sighs> well, aren't you gonna say anything? <laughs> <laughs> now I see why they needed to muzzle you. You're quite the talker. There's no time. Keep moving. <clears throat> oh, and uh, thanks for the key. You're real warm and fuzzy, aren't you? Save the thanks for when we make our escape. Off we go, confidant. We probably cannot go back there, right? Let me see if I can mock these people. Get the hell out of my sight. I'm trying to enjoy my alone time. 
I'll take that. Y you look to get hurt? I like my arms. Oh, I'm only by myself? Uh, at the start of battle, Oswald can deduce one weak point for each foe. He can reveal another weakness with every encounter. Starting a foe for the second time will reveal two weak points at once. Hmm. Damn it. Fire. Burn. Okay, not fire. <laughs> now then. Ice. That. Wings of frost. Not ice as well. Thinking time. <laughs> broken. Hmm. Feel my wrath. <laughs> now then. <laughs> All according to plan. We could already learn skill, not you though. I would say lightning bolt just to increase our new skill. Uh, learning learn a variety of skills to gain the upper hand in battle. Use the job points you earn in battle, go to the skill and choose the one you want to learn. It's better to increase our uh, range. All right, I've marked some of the rips and runners, but not all. I want to get the free heal from leveling up. Do I have to? This should hold you. The tide is turning. <laughs> now then, <laughs> it's broken. I need a plan. <laughs> All according to plan. Good one, Professor. <laughs> 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 oh, you must be weak to fire. <laughs> well done. Feel my wrath. What a letdown. By surprise, <laughs> do I have to? This should hold you. The tide is turning, sinking tide. <laughs> This one's for me. Now then. Fire. Burn. Now, oh, wait. This should hold you. 
Do I have to? This should hold you. Thinking. Feel my wrath! Fire. Burn. Study harder. Well done. Dinner staff. Okay, much better. Oh, there's another chest. All of us live, pretty good. Oh, hey, is that it? Usually, if there's a safe file, that means we're very close with the boss. Have we been here before? Oh no, we have not. Oops. Ooh, bats. Hmm. <laughs> Broken. Do I have to? Yes! Want to let them? <laughs> Ancient necklace. Ooh, max HP. Ooh, yes, please. I was gonna try to level up Oswald and Emerald to replenish uh, their HP and SP, but in doing so, I accidentally kinda grinded a little bit. So now we can learn one more skill for Oswald, and doing that will unlock support skill for us. So between the four, I think I would like advanced magic. Elemental barrage is not bad, but we do have all three fire ice and lightning so uh boosting our spell would be better i think evasive maneuver equipping support skill after you learn a support skill try equipping it all you need to do to rip the benefit of these handy skills equip them oh uh, i think i know what that is it's the same uh yeah, reduces rate of random encounter, which is pretty good, I guess. We are already pretty powerful. Not gonna help us in the upcoming boss battle, but uh, will be useful for us later down the line. So I think I'm a little bit over level. I don't know. Let's see. No! The ladder's been destroyed. Damn! Who destroyed it? We were so close. The cuts look fresh. This was done recently. I fear I've underestimated our opponent. That you did. Dun dun dun. At long last, the scholar speaks. Hello, Oswald. I commend you for making it this far. You even managed to remove the muzzle. But your choice of ally was your downfall. We've been watching Emerald for some time now. I suspected you two would work together. <laughs> I'm sorry, Confidant. I should have known. Okay, at least you didn't Take betray me. The fault is mine. I will correct it. Oh ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. You're not the first, you know. I've seen countless like you. Oh yeah. So many have tried, and every last one died a tragic death. And so it would be my honor to put you back in your place. Out of my way. 
Oof. Oh, just so happened I do have Thunder Spell. Strike them down. Very effective. Oh, all of you are weak against this lightning. This me. <coughs> do I have to? Uh, sabotage the no, warden. Don't bite me. What else could I do? I could try checking up the weakness. Yes! Thinking time. <laughs> Is it fire, you think? Ooh, well done. Is it fire? I kinda... I want to unlock all of them. I'm gonna take a risk, I would say it's fire. Fire. Burn. Oh, ice. You got me. Damn it. Oh, don't bite me. Thinking time. Let me try ice. Here's the wings of frost. Okay, it is ice. Food. You got me. Happy? Alright, you princess. Yo. I need a plan. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot. This wasn't in my calculations. I'll put you in your place! Ooh, wee! <laughs> I need a plan. It's okay. It's okay. Strike them down. They're broken. No. Use this. Thanks, Professor. Do I have to? No. I swipe the face. Sabotage, sabotage. Don't bite me! Thinking time. And spirit things one. Hmm. Calculations complete. Realized you're gonna be doing that? Oh no. This should hold you. I'll put you in your place. Do I have to? I'll fight you a bit. Well done. I will set things right. Roar, Thunder! Everything plumb on oh you. Thinking. Firestorm. Now 
heap of trash like you give me so much trouble. I see now that no punishment is too great for you. <laughs> I underestimated him. He's a better fighter than I expected. That won't be a problem, though. Based on my calculations, we'll still make it. What are you chattering on about? Now cut out your tongue! Latent power. Once the latent power gauge is full, characters can use unique commands in battle. Uh, the gauge fills when a character takes damage or breaks an enemy. Hmm. Strike them down. Good one, Professor. I slice the bits. Oswald Latent Power Concentrate Spell. Once the gauge is full, you can unleash Oswald Latent Power. Well done. But I do need to Inspiriting Plum myself first. This one's for me. Try again. Do I have to? I slice you a bit. Ooh, did you see that? I need a plan. Let me show you what I've Fire. Burn. Finish. Ooh. Hmm. Was it ice? I forgot. Pierce the wings of frost. There you go. Ooh. This is the informant's turf. We did it! Looks like there's more rats where these oh. came from. Is it because we <laughs> mock all of them? A crack. This could be our way out. We have to keep moving. Where exactly? This is the end of the road. No. I have the answer. Flames, reduce this wall to ash. Ooh, damn. Whoa. Yeah, I think that'll do, Confidant. We have Where can I learn that now. firewall? The hardest part is still ahead. Edge of the world sits Oswald, a man fueled by the fires of vengeance. After five years toiling in captivity, he has at last made his escape. Now an angry sea sits between him and true freedom. One last trial on his journey to the mainland. The once imprisoned scholar's hardship have only just begun. Oswald the Scholar, Chapter One, and. Okay, we have to relieve this memory first no before we can save her. And the sun hangs low. Rita and Elaine are likely preparing dinner. I should be getting back.
Oh no! He's not even trying to hide it. Harvey, long have I toiled in your shadow. But now, I've taken all that once was yours. Why? Do you hate me that much? And in due course, I shall complete the one true magic. There he is! It's Oswald! Excuse me, there's another scholar in presence? Why are you capturing me? You bastard! Corruption. This Oswald is my so that guy over there is probably going to be the second or third boss. Harvey is going to be the last boss. <laughs> Ever since that day, the fire has burned within my breast. Harvey, you took everything from me. You son of a bitch. Professor. Hey, Professor Oswald. Come on, give me a sign. Are you alive in there? I'm fine. You gotta stay alert. I'm counting on you. There's light up ahead. Let's go. Okay, I see a safe point a little bit uh, above. So we're gonna walk there. Oh, healing grape. We do need it. No, we, we need inspiriting plum more. And it just so happened it's more expensive. We've done it! We've escaped that godforsaken prison! Don't celebrate yet. They know we've escaped. Then what do you propose we do next, Professor? And I'd like an answer before we freeze to death. The last part will be the hardest. Escaping the island. The inspector's vessel should be docked at the pier. And yet... The warden likely told them about our escape. Let's see what we can learn about the situation. Come. We make for the ship. Alright, that is it for the initial episode of Octopath Traveler 2. As you can see, I'm very, very much enjoying this game. Uh, so we are for sure going to finish this playthrough uh, with Oswald and the upcoming seven characters that we surely meet. So stay tuned for their adventures on the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Until next time. Bye.